Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning, wherever you are on this evil and vile planet. The ongoing persecution of a Christian baker. This honourable gentleman has been harassed three times by the LGBT community. Their purpose is to destroy his business, to remove it from Colorado, and to send a message to anybody in America and in the world that the LGBT community will come after you at every single opportunity that they get. And they will ruin a business by using the government and by using an original civil act, a civil, uh, civil rights act that protected African Americans during the 1930s and 40s when they had massive, massive difficulties moving around um, the United States because of segregation and um, the way in which the American government at that time was, um, you know, treating black people. The homosexual community today cannot equate itself to that struggle. We know there's 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 you know discrimination to a degree to homosexuals, but it's 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 nowhere near nowhere near what black people experienced up until the sixties. Um, and the civil rights movement. What this gentleman is going through is just pure, unadulterated harassment. The LGBT community has consistently shown itself to be a vile and evil vindictive, nasty community. Jack Phillips is a baker. He's also a Christian. He declined to bake a wedding cake for a homosexual couple who insisted, sorry, instead of going to the bakery down the road, brought in the state government to try and force him to make this cake. So, the Supreme Court ultimately held that Colorado's so-called Civil Rights Commission had, in targeting Phillips, acted on a foundation of religious hostility on the part of the state itself. A second action against Phillips was dropped when the baker countersued their fucking asses. So they dropped it. Then the tranny who had put in the complaint in the second action against Phillips now decided to pursue it themselves, having asked, having asked for a birthday cake to celebrate a gender transition. So as you can see, the LGBT community are going to use every single tactic that they can legally use. But when they don't get their way, 
I bet you I'm going to go to the bookies and put £10 that they will turn to violence. They will, they will target this guy one way or another. They will probably try and get Antifa to come down and um, target this guy. I don't want to give any ideas because I just want this guy to just get on with his life peacefully. But they won't, they're not going to let it lie. They're evil and they're vindictive and they're nasty. So that is three legal attacks on a man for the proposed offence of conducting his bakery business in accordance with his own views and values. So we are reminded of the great William F. Buckley's Junior's observation. Liberals claim to want to give a hearing to other views, but then are shocked and offended to discover that there are other views. <laughs> How dare you? come with an opposing view. Our view is the de facto. No other view should be brought presented to us. American, American liberals have almost entirely abandoned liberalism with its generosity and tolerance and now insist on conformity and homo genesis. Genity. I can't pronounce this. I've been trying to pronounce this for ages. I'll just move on. To be enforced at the point of a government bayonet, if necessary, or through financial ruin, nation, or whatever other means near at hand. The legal doctrine of public accommodations first came to prominence as a civil rights matter in the case of racial segregation at a time when African Americans could hardly travel in much of the country as a matter as a practical matter the exclusion of black Americans from public life when piled on the legacy of slavery severely sub circumscribed the lives and opportunities of African Americans. While there is still rank bigotry directed at homosexuals, the situation of American gays in the 21st century is not very much like that of American blacks in the 1940s. It's nowhere near. They, well, they're going through certain things, we know, but it's nowhere near. I mean, I'm thinking of Thor's hammer uh, and a nut. So, to accommodate the religious principles of those with traditional views of marriage in this matter requires only a trivial and largely symbolic concession. It is a lot easier to find a gay friendly caterer in Colorado in the 21st century than it was to find a hotel open to African Americans in Alabama in 1937. These are not of equal moral weight. No way. This is the problem with the homosexual community. They try and equate the civil rights movement with, with, with homosexuals' so-called rights. It's nowhere near, especially white homosexuals, males and females. They were able to hide in that closet fairly easy. It's when they came out and expressed themselves uh, especially in the, you know, in the 60s, 70s and 80s, um, that's when it became difficult. But as time has gone by, and more, a lot more people are accepting of it. It's now very much, you know, everyone go about their business. 
why are you worried about the Bible? What it says about the Bible? You don't even believe in it. It's fairy stories. Move on. Um, but the homosexual community is insisting on consistently being twats. Evil and nasty characters. But the point of this exercise, unlike the point of the civil rights reform of an earlier era, is not to provide for the integration of gay Americans into civil life or to enable them to organize their own affairs on their own terms and to engage in the purpose of happiness in the way that seems best to them. No. Instead, the point of this harassment, and it is only harassment, is to bully and coerce dissidents into obedience and conformity. That dissident baker is a genuine political category, speaks eloquently to the insanity of our times. This is persecution and it is unjust. It is unjust. It should be addressed with whatever legal and political means are necessary to bring it to a stop. A few people in Colorado should grow the fuck up. This is nonsense and it's just pure evil. The gay community doesn't care. Today it does not care what people think of it because they don't have no shame. Let's read some of the comments. Uh, the Civil Rights Commission people should be personally held responsible for their actions. That would smarten them up. Oh, probably not. They are leftists. Sorry, smart and leftists don't go together in the same sentence. And this one here is quite good. The whole pathetic episode is a microcosm of the attitude and tactics of the fascist left. We must use that word to describe people of the left. Fascist left in American society today. Leftist thugs are never satisfied to live and live exactly. They must beat every single person into submission to their latest political and sexual demands and seek to destroy the very livelihood of anyone who dares not bow down to these bastards. Is it any wonder that the tactics, latest tactics of the pro-abortion crowd is to try and force doctors who morally object to abortion to perform said abortions under penalty of law. So if they don't apply by it, it's either they'll, I don't know what, they're gonna try and put them in the prison or they just have to give up their job and walk away. Really? You wanna, you wanna lose doctors, that especially in the UK, that take seven years to train? Seven years to train all that money for them to just walk away and go and set up their own practice. You know? It's not that they are unable to easily find plenty of so-called doctors willing to butcher babies for money. Exactly. They simply can't tolerate one doctor who objects to their butchery. Unfortunately, the issue is not that these people need to grow the hell up or grow the fuck up. The issue is that these people are pure, unfiltered, un just basically unfiltered evil and they do not they, and they do not need to stop be stopped by whatever means it takes even if that mean leads to basically civil war uh or a hot civil war I like that <laughs> peaceful separation there is not going to be one 
they wouldn't those bastards wouldn't allow people to sort of have their own land or that just like the 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 white separatists want their own land uh, where they can bring up their own people the way they want to bring up and i agree with it and they, they should be allowed to um, or they should be able to um So this idiot here is talking about basically that Mr. Phillips should have just baked the cake um, because his political views would still be intact. It's a purely a business transaction. So why not just make the cake? It, it, no, you dumb fuck. It's about principle and honor, which is, which is what the LGBT community doesn't have. It doesn't have principle or honors. It's an evil organization. Those are the facts, you know, those are the facts. The degeneracy that goes on in, in that community is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, and then people give examples here. They're not surprising that common sense to you, uh, for Mr. Phillips, is to agree to abandon his religious beliefs and cave to the demands of fascist leftist thugs. Again, remember the word fascist left. That's what we need to use at them at all times. You know, that's what they are. They are fascists, those people on the left. Here's a common sense idea that most people on the site, except leftists like you, will support. Suppose that bloody tranny just went down the, the street to any of the hundreds of bakers who would love to bake a so-called transition cake. So all you have to do is just go down to another you know, shop. There's loads of shops that would have catered uh, to their nonsense. Um, at the end of the day, we all have to live with one another. Uh, this is where you are mistaken. We don't have to live with one another. We have to live alongside one another. A few days ago, I was confronted by the owner of a dog. I had sprayed with pepper spray. <laughs> Um, about a month ago, he felt it was unreasonable that I sprayed his dog. <laughs> of course they do. These people are so attached to their little doggies. Uh, they look literally look, see them as, as children. They really do. Uh, oh, Jesus. Those filthy animals. Here are the facts. His dog escaped his yard and attacked my dog on a leash. While we were walking on a public street, his wife was unable to verbally control the dog. <laughs> so I sprayed it. I mean, if I had a club, I would have clubbed the bloody dog's head in. Um, I mean, you see these video. I mean, there's one video of a dog. It's a pit bull attacking like this, I don't know, marshmallow puff little toy dog. You know, those little toy dogs it literally had in its mouth and refused to let it go. And uh, no, they were hitting it over the head. They were doing all sorts of, the owners trying to pull it off. So, you know, you know, let go of the damn thing, blah, blah, blah. And so it's suddenly this guy apparently comes along, who's part of this crowd, stick his finger up the dog's ass. <laughs> that definitely let the dog, went, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> sticking your finger up his arm. I mean, why would someone do that? It's disgusting and vile, you know, to be sticking your finger up someone's ass. I mean, a dog's ass, sorry. <laughs> it let go. Ponto. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Nasty. So, but this guy, you know, did the right thing. He's <laughs> He's got pepper spray. The man who confronted me felt I was unreasonable to spray his dog. What was he supposed to do? The wife wasn't able to control their dog. Um, so he had pepper spray, and that did the job. What's the problem? Uh, having had to uh, pay a hefty vet bill for a similar attack on my dog years ago, I'm good with the economic... <laughs> of a 20 can dollar can of spray versus a 500 dollar vet bill and think spraying 
an attacking dog is more reasonable than putting myself in the middle of a dog fight or letting the dogs just sort, sort it out. <laughs> oh, dear. And, and so the guy, uh, still bitching, he believes I was unreasonable. I disagreed and made it clear that if the circumstances the circumstances of reoccur, <laughs> they will get the same response. Uh, you can imagine the exchange at the time wasn't as pleasant <laughs> as the recounting. <laughs> Too right. Oh, I would have loved to have been there just to, to listen to that. So what's the point? <laughs> neither, us, neither of us are selling our homes anytime soon. So we're going to have to live alongside one another. I don't expect I'll get invited to his home for barbecue, but I will continue to walk my dog. <laughs> oh dear. Nor will you be getting a Christmas card either. The Supreme Court didn't do anyone any favours when they made their decision based on the actions of the Colorado Civil Rights Commission. So, like my neighbour and I, the people in Colorado Springs are now left to live alongside one another. In my case, I, am now, I now stick to the other side of the four-lane street when dog walking to put some distance between us and hopefully another kerfuffle. It would be helpful if the progressive woke in Springfield could do the same. Exactly. All you have to do is note which shops, you, you know, if you walk in and say, oh, I want this particular cake, and if they say no, move on, and just go to another sh shop. You know, um, it's about custom cakes. Any of the cakes that are in, in, in the shop, he was willing to sell without any... But no, this is about cooking and baking a custom cake in the way they wanted it. And he said, no, I don't want to cook it. I don't want to bake it the way that, or, or the way you want it. And so he, he has the right to refuse it. <clears throat> no, I mean, um, I'm going to try and find the, 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 the actual Christian organization that's supporting his... Um, uh, you know, he's uh, defense league, uh, legal cost, sorry, because um, I already put towards uh, Israel Falau for the legal cost there. That was fantastic. That had got up to two million Australian dollars, I believe, and it would have easily reached three million, easily reached three million. Um, and I think they should have allowed it to get to three million. I don't know why they stopped it. They stopped it at two million. Uh, basically, because of all the bitchiness and the nastiness from people so you know he's a rich man. Why does he have to, um, you know, ask for money? Um, people wanted to; they didn't have to. He can ask for whatever he wants, and if people people didn't want to disagree with, they didn't have to put any money in. But over twenty thousand people put money in to, for it to reach uh, two million. This is the this is the the evil people on the left, and it's always evil people on the left. So plain and simple. So, um, yeah, we need to defend all Christians across the world. Because at the end of the day, the homosexual community, the LGB community, have already shown themselves to be dumb asses. Because what they don't realise is what's standing between them and the, the, um, the Muslims and the Muslim faith is Christianity. They are standing up for homosexuals. And for the you know the LGBT community, they are standing between. Yes, they have the, the there are differences, but fundamentally, if they are able to successfully remove Christianity from the West or push it underground, all that it will get filling the gap very very quickly will be the Muslim faith. And I'll tell you one thing, the homosexuals 
had better be prepared because when they do take over the world, then they're going to take over. Their, their, their faith is going to take over the world. They will have to either you know, uh, conform to them or run and, and run back into the closet or they will be destroyed by the Muslims. Plain and simple. They don't mess about. That's why they haven't gone. I, I'm sure there are um, Colorado uh, Muslim bakery, at least one. Why don't they go and, and, and chase them? They won't do it. They won't do it. Because they know that the Muslims will fight back at them. The Muslims will come after them. They won't mess about with those people. Not at all. So, as the Adjie said, be, as, as it said, be careful of what you wish for. You want to try and def destroy and, and, and the, the Christian religion in the, in, in the West, and, and if you succeed, you will get a really massive, massive tyrant in the Muslim faith. They will destroy you with impunity. So, there you go. I've said my bit. If you like this, share it. Let people know out there. We must support all Christian people, good Christian people, people who follow their, way, their faith, Judeo-Christian religions, must be supported and saved from the evils of the LGBT community. Well, thank you for listening. I'm done. Good day. <laughs>